with? Uh, so I am Doug Chambers, CEO and co-founder of FieldLens. We are a mobile communication platform in the construction industry dedicated to bringing solutions to every job site for every contractor, architect, engineer on the job so they can communicate more efficiently using the uh, smartphone already in their pocket. So that could be job site deficiencies, that could be general task management between the subcontractors, and that could be simply observations that get rolled up into a daily report at the end of the day. What we're doing with Google Glass is just pointing out the fact that eventually wearable technology like this will either replace or or work in concert with mobile devices to allow people to capture information in a hands-free way. Yeah. So let's go ahead and give that a try. the draft of the issue that we just created. And now we can add more data to it. We'll actually go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll use the, the mobile app that will definitely work to go ahead and take the picture. Okay. We'll click done. And we'll post that. And now that item has been posted, I'll go up to everything in my news feed. Thinking about it. And there it is. So there's the electrical conduit in the wrong spot with the picture taken from our Google Glasses, showing up on our mobile device and available for anybody else that's collaborating on the item. So that's just the beginning. Obviously, there's a lot more work to do both on Google's part and our own to, to bring this to the industry. But we do think we see a day where people are up on a scaffold and, and juggling with a phone or an iPad or whatever it just isn't the right solution for them. They've got wearable technology on their face that maybe is doubling in a safety glass, and they're able to actually collect that data or view that data and still keep going. So that's the viewport right there, and that's adjustable. And basically what I see there is the same thing that you were seeing up there, okay. which is just this little view in my periphery of different information. Um, one of the most powerful things about the device is the camera. Uh, admittedly, they've, they've got some work to do to make it more stable. But basically what I'm seeing through the viewport, I can take pictures of by pressing that button right there at the top. Okay. The, 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 the glasses essentially swiping and touching here is no different than swiping and touching your your mobile devices. So once you get used to it, the navigation's uh, pretty easy to do, but it, it's, um, it takes a little bit of time to get used to. So, um, I, you know, you were kind of talking about some of the possibilities, but kind of uh, further integration with your software would probably, I mean, how do you guys envision it seeing maybe updating plans or? Yeah, um, so, so I guess, so what we do in the software is yeah, what we have is the ability to, to view your drawings. Right. So I'm gonna go to my library here. And we actually take construction documents and we turn them into HTML so that they are, so they don't have any degradation in quality on the mobile device and they render quickly. So the, the drawing's loading right now. Once it loads, you'll see there's kind of a limitless view, uh, uh, limitless zoom nice. in to see the, the the most minute of details. Eventually, it makes sense that in the periphery of the view in, in the Google Glasses, I'm also able to see that detail. So imagine it. Imagine again. I, I use the scaffold example, but you know, imagine in this space there were people up on real high genius installing all of this this large circular ductwork, and I bet they had shop drawings folded up on that lift down there at their feet. So these are the shop drawings. Hook over their head. There's going to be a day they're gonna have their glasses on or their, their heads up display on, they're gonna see the schematics and the shop drawings off of the periphery and do their work. From a management perspective or a foreman or superintendent's perspective, same deal. Just like within Field Lens today, they can use the mobile app to kind of create issues, uh, uh, kind of capture content. They should be able to do the same thing. Hands-free though. Yeah, hands-free basically, exactly. effectively mark the drawing, maybe by doing a, a gesture with their <laughs> right. nose. Exactly. Taking pictures, capturing video, and then sharing that data. Okay. And you mentioned, you know, uh, we were kind of talking a little bit earlier about some of the limitations of the device, but I would imagine, you know, like, you said this is kind of really like a 
a, a starting point, a, a place to get started, but eventually like this thing could get really useful as soon as you can kind of like implement like an augmented reality type thing sure, yeah. or a full heads up display. There's another really interesting project that Google just released called the Tango project. Exactly, right. So Google Tango, what it's doing is they're taking the Android phone, I'm sorry for my Google That's Tango's it. taking Android phones and they're just loading them up with 3D imaging software and sensors that will enable the phone to actually create a scan of the room that you're in and then create a 3D visualization of that room. So imagine that plus this someday, where you walk in with a heads-up display on and the heads-up display knows where you are in the room, knows all the issues that matter to you or that may be unsafe to you. Those issues are coming up in your periphery. It's, it's an incredible day that we're, that we're going to get to uh, at some point. And, and you know, Google, Google, in some cases, they, they focus on the consumer aspect of all of this, but they empower developers like us to think about you know, vertical-specific solutions for industries like construction. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, great. Thank you.